Om Shanti. Very welcome to you. Welcome to today that is 5th of June's God blessing. Now what are we going to talk about over here? Very simply, good wishes are the only foundation for making your family, for making your organization, for making your office, for making your business office successful. And with good wishes, you can actually inculcate or you can increase the amount of zeal and enthusiasm in souls and get the work done without much effort. So let's get into this beautiful Vartan and understand what does this blessing have to say as for God. May you be a true server who fills every soul with enthusiasm with your good wishes. So what can you do if you don't have good wishes? You can curse those people, you can find out faults, you can blame them, you can get angry at them and their productivity, their intellect will become narrow and narrow and narrow. They'll become too jittery, they'll become too finicky, they'll become too overconscious because of your complaining, because of your taunts, because of your comments, because of your complaining. And that's what is happening in the world today. Even with kids, if you complain, blame and taunt and you tell them things, automatically their intellect becomes shrunken. They become, they feel as if they are nothing and they are no good. And then the problem starts. They stop listening to you. They go with other friends. It could be your own uh, colleagues. It could be your own subordinates in your firm. They go to some other company. Why? Because of your continuous bickering, continuous complaining, continuous blaming, fault finding. Is that good wishes? No. So God is giving us a very simple answer, good wishes. But how many times do you have to do it? You can't fake it. You can't be like, okay, today I'm going to give good wishes to him so that he gets the work done. And you see that, okay, he's getting the work done, he's getting the work done because I'm giving good wishes. And one day he spoils the work and you then explode. So that soul thinks, oh, so he was being sweet with me just to get this work done. He was something else inside or she was something else inside and he was or she was something else outside. That is what this is all about. This is about being having continuous good wishes no matter what. That's what we practice in Brahma Kumaris. So God says the good wishes of you children are that every soul takes a drop of attainment from the Father, from the Creator. That's what we feel. That may every soul get connected with the Father, may every soul have connection or yoga with the Creator. As a result of these good wishes, those souls receive power to have an experience. Just by your good wishes and not by cursing them by saying that, oh, they'll never go. They'll never understand this knowledge. They are not at all ready for this. Or their intellect is not bent upon getting this knowledge. Or they are very foolish. They are into this worldly things. And they will never listen to this knowledge. And all. Instead of cursing them like this, why not make opposite thoughts about it? You are just one second away to make a beautiful thought. So then God says, Your thoughts of good wishes have such great power in them that they transform the atmosphere everywhere. Including home, office, organization so a true server is one who has enthusiasm and who also does service with enthusiasm and fills other souls too with enthusiasm by giving them the father's introduction so what can you do you can actually connect souls to the creator by having good wishes for them and help them being create creator conscious and not you conscious or me conscious or anything else conscious so they can become creator conscious and they can be concerned about the karma on a daily basis. Then God says, your enthusiasm is such that adverse situations are nothing in front of it. Instead of opposing you souls, they surrender to you. Any kind of adverse situation comes, but you are so enthusiastic about it that that big mountain starts looking like a mustard seed. So small in size. That means the situation becomes smaller in your thoughts. Even though it might look big to somebody else, but because of your enthusiasm, because of your good wishes to everybody around and not complaining and howling and howling about the problem by blaming and complaining, if he had not, if she had not, you have good wishes for everybody and that makes a complete team strong, whether it's a family, whether it's a company, whether it's a corporate, whether it's an organization, think about it. And how do you get that power of good wishes? Do come over at Kama Kumari Center and learn this beautiful art. First, you need the power from God and Father. First, you need to get connected to the Creator for that pure, loving, powerful race. I'm Shanti with this.